All right, let's get back to some of that breaking news for you that came uh, out of the U.K. and the U.S. just moments ago on Russian uh, sanctions. Uh, Russia, the U.S. is now sanctioning the central bank governor, uh, her number two as well, the deputy uh, prime minister, uh, Alexander Novak. Uh, Anne-Marie Hordaren joins us from D.C. and is tracking those headlines for us. Uh, Anne-Marie, walk us through and update uh, these sanctions for us. So two really big things stand out. Obviously, you just went through the massive names. These are two individuals that on the international stage have really represented, represented over the course of years Russia's monetary policy, Elvira Nabulina. She has been widely respected. She's part of the reasons why the central bank was able to have all these reserves. Also, the reason why in the past, prior to Putin's invasion of Ukraine, you saw foreign investors really pile into Russian debt. You can thank her. She was an individual that investors liked, and she was known as one of the sharpest minds in monetary policy. Then you have the Deputy Prime Minister, Alexander Novak. He's the former energy minister, but he is still really at the helm when it comes to Russia's energy policy. He is the one that is getting on the phone with his counterparts in Saudi Arabia, like Prince Abdulaziz, to discuss oil and energy policy and output. And he's been regarded very closely in Putin's circle when it comes to that exact thing, energy policy. But really, we should note the one big takeaway that I'm seeing off of these lists coming out and off of the uh, Treasury list is that, in addition, they are saying that the Office of Foreign Assets Control issuing these new guidance, they are warning of the heightened sanctions risk that international actors outside of Russia would face providing political or economic support to Russia as a result of its illegal attempts to change the status of Ukrainian territory. It looks like like the U.S. is putting on guard anyone that deals with Russia politically or economically, potentially a path or the strongest we've heard yet to secondary sanctions. Hmm.